Hey guys, so today I'm going to be explaining how Bunny and Tetra died now. So at first I woke up and I didn't see my fish swimming around like Bunny and Tetra usually does. Um, I'm like, okay, my fish ate my fish. Didn't, I'm like, no, because cats like fish. But it turned out my cat didn't eat my fish. I was I was just looking around like, hmm, where should it, could it be? I, I didn't see it at first, but it was simple as that. It was like right in the corner kind of, but it was still breathing, but it was just laying at the bottom on its side. So I kind of researched a little bit on the Antetras, like before I got my Antetra, and I remembered, okay, so if, obviously it's sick because the neon stripe, was pink and it was like a dark purple so i'm like okay it's dead or it's, it's sick or something like something's wrong so i got a little cup a little plastic cup that i use for you know I'm just getting water out of to do water changes and you know it was doing good the day before but wasn't doing good today. I don't know what had happened. I didn't overfeed it or anything. I usually only give it as much as it would eat. Like, I'd give it a few pellets, like maybe three or four. I'd eat all of them. I'd give it a couple more, and it would usually only eat six pellets at the most. So, yeah. So, obviously, I knew, okay, and I fed it daily, like, I fed it in the morning, right when I woke up, and at night, like, before I went to bed, which usually was, like, 9.30, 10 o'clock. 9.30 is my school bedtime, and because I get up at 7 o'clock, school days, so 9.30, 10 o'clock-ish, um, so, yeah, so, it wasn't because I overfed it, but maybe it was sick. But anyway, it still was not doing well, so it swam up to the top. And I was trying to swim up to the top and then sink back down. Keep doing that. So I grabbed the cup and filled up the water from from the tank. The antiches do need a heater, so I had a heater. And so that wasn't the reason. It was a perfect temperature, the temperature that I was supposed to be at. So I just scooped up some water, scooped the fish up with the net, still alive, but just having troubles. So I put it in the cup carefully and just watched it for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm like, yeah, this fish won't get better. It's not going to get better, so no other option but to flush it because, you know, I said my prayers and that was over holidays, so... Then after holidays, you know, a few days after, I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready to get a new fish. But this time I did not get a Neon Tetra, because I'm like, I'm never going to own a Neon Tetra for a while, you know. Not until I know what really was the cause, but I'm pretty sure the cause of death was sickness. So, I don't know. I mean, I have my lake snow in it with that, but that wasn't the problem. I'm pretty sure it was just sick. Maybe it was sick, and it was showing some signs that I didn't really know that it was sick so yeah what's up stop so yeah so i'm going to give you a tank update i clean the tank um just here so i'm going to show you here's venom hey venom now i fed him i feed him the same as i did with the neon tetra these are it's actually grass that i got on the hay bale that was growing on the hay bale and diy filter which i'll show be probably showing in the next video and my lake snow, coral, venom, eggplants, and yeah. Heater, like always, heater. So yeah, that's it for the video. And my cousin's here. He slept over last night because... I did, wait, I did. You slept over. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Are you okay, though? <laughs> okay, he's okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.